Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna talk about why have an exchange student. Why would we do that? Why would we bring a teenager into our home? So let's get started. So the first thing you should ask yourself when you're considering doing a foreign exchange student is why do you want to do it? The why is the most important part, I think. For us, I feel like the why was we wanted to give an experience to someone that lives in a totally different culture and country of our life and how we live and our family and our culture, our religion, and give them the opportunity. And I mean, for me, like we had an exchange student growing up and we became like best friends for life with them. Like we mm -hmm. still keep in contact with them. We had one when she was in high school when I was like 10 years old and I've met her like 10 year old kid now. And so she it's came just three like, years ago. yeah, they came yeah. and visited us, got to meet my now wife. And it's just super cool experience. You make friends for life. Your own kids get to know another culture. Like it totally puts that country on the radar for our kids. Like it's a super cool thing. And it becomes a place that they know and they want to go to. And it's like, it's an automatic stamp on the bucket list of like a top five place that you have to go because you know someone so closely that lives in that country. So I think that's really cool too. It's exposing our kids to other cultures also. And really, I mean, it sounds kind of cliche, but it's it really like promotes world peace. We make friends mm -hmm. with countries we never would have thought of before. There's kids that come from all over the world. I, I met a kid from Kazakhstan. Like I had never even heard of that place, but it's a huge country and just all these cool places that Americans might not have heard of before. Um, also, when we first got, when we got our last exchange student, I remember getting a letter from her mom just saying like, you guys are a part of our family now, you will always have a home in Spain, that's where she was from. And like, that was so cool to me because I was like, they will always have a place to stay here in America, in Utah, and we will always have a place to stay in Spain. Like, it's just extending your family and your love and you really do learn to love these, these students and their families even. I feel so much love for her for her sibling and her mom and dad at home that she talked about a lot here and I got to know through her. And I thought that was really cool that there is a connection and I'm sure we will meet one day, but we never even have met them face to face and I still feel so connected to these people. And along the lines of thinking about the why you wanna do this, like it's hosting an exchange student is much more than letting a kid live in your house and then taking them they're on a vacation for a year like you can have a serious impact on their lives forever and they have an impact on you definitely it goes both ways so I we've learned a lot from doing exchange we've done it twice now both times I feel like we've come away with amazing skill like skills that we would have never been able to get with our young kids that we were able to develop having older kids around and if you have kids the same age and you're already a pro at teen parenting then why not add a couple more in there to just make it more fun? <laughs> yeah, and I mean, talking about our own kids, they have absolutely loved. Like I said, yeah. we've, we've had it twice. The kids were a little bit older with this one, with Roberta, and the kids absolutely love her. Like from the day she got here, she was like, just like, she was part of the family. She was like a play thing. They were d putting makeup on her and hair and just doing all this fun stuff with her. And so it's just, it's so much fun. The kids absolutely fell in love with it. Yeah. And I think it's really important to, um, we went through the Aspect Foundation. It's the people that organize and coordinate everything for the exchange. They find us, they find the families. And it's nice because they gave us just like a list of students that were available and we were able to read through every letter. You don't get to see pictures, you just get to see first name and country and like the information in the letter that they wrote. But it was really cool to like have those papers in my hand and flip through them and read through them. And, and we even like really thought about it and prayed about it and tried to decide what student was supposed to come to us. And I felt like we both agreed both times that like the one that we picked was the one that we both felt right about. And I thought that was really cool and unique. And we've had two really good experiences. And I think like that's not gonna be the case for everyone. It's very possible that you have an exchange student and things just go terrible. But I also think that there's amazing learning experiences when things are going wrong that you can learn from. And it's also really nice too because it is 
pretty low risk because if you really realize it's not working out, then there is options to like have them go to a new family and stuff. So I feel like that's like a really low risk for taking this challenge on with a really high outcome for like a really high possibility for a positive outcome. And it's not, so, it's not all, it's not, I mean, both times we've done it, it's not all rainbows and butterflies the whole time. It's definitely, I mean, it's a teenager from an, a whole completely different culture. So there's definitely a learning curve, but there's, like I've said before, there's things that you can learn from them and there's things that they can learn from you. Yeah. So yeah, I think exchange is awesome. I'm so glad that we did it six years ago. I'm so glad that we did it this year and I'm excited to do it again next year. And hopefully we can continue the pattern now that we have a little bit more space, we have an extra seat in the car and an extra room. And let me just tell you one more thing, guys. You don't have to be, like you don't have to have a huge house and you don't have to be wealthy to exchange. The first time we did exchange, we just were like, well, we don't have room, but how can we make room? We had one seat in the car. I think that's pretty important because you're gonna wanna go places as a family. But I was like, you know what? We don't have a bedroom, but I bet we could just put the girls together, they can share and we can just make a room available and we did that so I'm so glad we did well, yeah that's a point I want to touch on too like all they need is somebody that will love and care for them that's what they need they need a good ha happy home to be a part of and yeah. you definitely take them in and they become part of your family for the rest of your life so. and another thing I absolutely love about having an exchange student it's watching somebody have all these firsts like a first time in Disneyland a first time trying mm -hmm a certain kind of a Twizzler candy and just always seeing yeah. their, their responses and then learning about like our holidays versus their holidays with Roberta. There was a whole different part of Christmas that they celebrated awesome. and it's just there's so many different things you can learn about the two different cultures. Yeah, it's almost like the huge world. Like if you think of how big the world is, it's like, oh, it's so big you could never even comprehend. And then it just like it makes the world just seem so much smaller to be able to see the things you have in common with these people that live so far away on the other side of the world um, and things that things that are different things that are the same but it just makes it seem like it's not that far away like i don't feel like spain's that far away now i'm like well yeah it's a plane ride but like i know where it is and it's like it's like a, another home for me so yeah. i can't wait to visit i know that we're going to make as much effort as we can to like go to spain and norway to visit our students one day it's an amazing experience to have an exchange student. You get to know them, you have fun. Of course there's the good and the bad, but it, you, it's just amazing. It's like having a best friend at home. Just like, you do so much fun, we can do so, we do so much fun things. Like, seriously, it's awesome. So, what's the funnest part about having an exchange student live with you? Um, Anything. I don't know. What's your favorite memories of the very Uh, well, helping me clean my room. Okay. You should get an exchange student because they're really fun to play with if you don't have any brothers or sisters. You should get an exchange student because it's like a bigger brother or sister. It's just really fun. I really appreciate having, I'd really appreciate having one. Like, woohoo! One thing I like about exchange students is um, if your big brother and sister are playing and you don't have anybody else to play with, you can play with them. You also learn a bit of their language too. I'm gonna put some information in the description box below, some links. We totally encourage all of you guys to do it. There's tons of students that want homes and we are all for it and all about it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope that we can answer all of your questions that you leave below and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Good mic. <laughs>